It really encapsulates the story of the Coracle on the Severn in Ironbridge, which is a really important story to tell because the, the Ironbridge Coracle is a unique Coracle. It's not found anywhere else in the country. So we want to preserve not only the Coracle itself and how to make it, but the shed that was used for so many years to make the Ironbridge Coracle by the Rogers family. And the Rogers family, we can trace them back to about 1780, I think it is, um, as coracle makers, which is an amazing heritage. They really worked to the river. They captured um, bits of wood as, as they floated down to use to make things and to make coracles. And they, they fished and they used the river really as part of their life. And that way of life has now disappeared with the death of the last of the working coracle um, men, Eustace Rogers, in 2003. And he was such a lovely character that we want to try and um, commemorate his life. So many people knew him and loved him, and we think he deserves to be remembered um, through this shed and through the work that the new Ironbridge Coracle Trust will be doing. The Community Pride Fund will actually enable us to purchase the shed, so we will own it, the trust that is, the Coracle Trust which is a, a, a terrific step forward because it's been in um, a private ownership since uh, Eustace died in 2003. And as you can see, it's deteriorating quite badly. And we need to, um, to get hold of it, to start doing work parties, <coughs> to assess it, to find out what um, conservation is required on the hut. We hope to put some viewing areas in the side of the hut, uh, bits of glass, um, string of glass, so people can see in. And inside we want to recreate the feel of the hut as it was when Eustace was there. So people will be able to see half-made coracles, the materials that were used to, to make the coracles, lots of chains and sticks hanging up. And, you know, it should give a real picture, a real flavour of what the coracle shed was like in its heyday.